I'm going to show you something really fantastic about genomics and how it relates to our lives. All of our lives. Now, here is a map of this great country, and I want to give you a sense of how, in just a few short years, genomics has opened up a world of possibilities in health, the environment, energy, mining, forestry, fisheries, and agriculture. Trees are very important in Canada. They cover about 47% of the country. So, what does this have to do with genomics, and why should you care? Well, more than 220,000 people work in forestry in Canada, generating $24 billion a year. But the industry is under threat. Harvestable trees are harder to get to, drought, climate change, acid rain, pine beetles, and insects of all types are threatening trees. Luckily, genomic research is already showing us how to grow better, stronger, healthier trees that thrive in these harsh conditions. Pine beetles devastated 14 million hectares of forest in BC. Fortunately, genomics is showing us how to turn those trees into biofuels. Of course, the trees live in the environment and it too is facing all sorts of challenges. Climate change, rising ocean temperatures, melting ice and declining air quality. In Ontario, a fascinating project is underway cataloging the DNA of the world's biodiversity. So far, it's created 750,000 barcodes and counting. Working with 25 other countries, the goal over the next five years is to barcode 5 million specimens. This barcode can be used to trace invasive species and identify food fraud, among other things. In the prairies, genomics has identified strains of plants that are resistant to disease, drought, floods, temperature extremes, and insects. Fish are enormously important to Canada. More than 80,000 people make their living from fisheries and aquaculture, which contribute over $6 billion to the Canadian economy. In BC, genomics is helping to provide a definitive answer to the question of high mortality rates in juvenile salmon. These tools will determine if microbes are the cause and lead to a clear understanding of the impact of pathogens on wild and farm-raised salmon stocks, industries worth hundreds of millions of dollars per year. In the Atlantic region, genomics-based practices have resulted in a 20% reduction time to market for Atlantic halibut. And, of course, our health. Remember back in 2003 when the world learned we mapped the human genome? Since then, there's been a quantum leap in improving your health, ensuring you can not only live longer, but better. There are numerous examples. In Quebec, for instance, new DNA tests are addressing a worldwide problem with infectious disease. FDA and Health Canada approved, they're in use in over 200 hospitals around the world saving each hospital over $2 million a year. This one project has created 350 jobs and $700 million in investment, and cut infectious disease transmission by 50%. When it comes to adverse drug reactions, a challenge costing $15 billion a year, Genomics is playing a vital role in saving the lives of up to 20,000 people annually. One example is a genetic mutation causing some mothers to rapidly convert codeine into morphine, leading to infant mortality. This discovery resulted in worldwide warnings and label changes. Of course, you can't do the tests and you can't operate if you don't have energy. And the challenges facing the energy sector are big. Genomics is also playing a role in developing alternative fuels, biomonitoring, and reducing greenhouse gases. It's extremely important when you consider that the energy sector accounts for 7% of our GDP. That's a whopping $114 billion a year. The oil and gas industry is using genomics research to control the generation of toxic gas and analyze tailing ponds to ensure they're safely closed. Sadly, I'm out of time. But the point is this. You can see how in Canada, in a very short time, genomics is playing an important role and it connects with every aspect of our lives.
Our investment is making us ever more competitive in all sectors, and we're benefiting not just at home, but around the world. Because through genomics, our products and technologies are in greater demand. We're just getting started. The possibilities are endless. And Canada, from sea to sea to sea, is in a position to be a world leader.